all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this one of tutorial we're trying to see how to work with a very nice package called rich so rich is a python library that allows you to be able to render rich test in your terminal as well as be able to do some beautiful formatting inside your terminal so let's see how to work with it so first of all to install let's just go with pip install rich to install rich on your system then in case you also want to have support for markdown you just need to install pip install conmark right so let's paste it here then I'm using Python 3, so I'll just go with pip3. Perfect, right? That is the basic idea about how to install Rich. Now, let's see some various things you can do with Rich. So, with Rich, you can render some tests in a colored test. You can also render some styles, you can render images, you can render syntax, tables, markdown, and several other stuff. So, it has finished installing. So, let's see how to work with it. So, I'll just create my first file and I'll name this file as example.py. Right? So, let's go to this example dot pi perfect so let's see the various things you can do with rich so the first thing is that you can render some test right and the test can be colored test in various format the another thing you can also do is that you can also render markdown you can also render synthesis and then finally we can also render or display tables right so these are the three the four main stuff you can do with rich so first of all let's work with test so we're just going to go with from rich dot console import the console class so with the console class can be able to render some interesting stuff with it so let's see the various things can do with the console class i'm just going to create a, an instance of console then call it as console right to initialize it perfectly so with this we can do several stuff so some of the things can do is i can just go with console dot print to print out anything or to render out any stuff then also have console.log so the console.log is going to render out any stuff but it's going to bring the time to it right so that's the difference between them so let's see how to work with a simple test it's going to be console.log.print and i can pass in hello world so if i go with hello world and i render it let's uncomment this one out with our python 3 the name of our file example dot pi is going to bring out the hello world for us very simple but in case i want to add some colors to it i can just go with the first format which is going to be my style then i specify the style as let's say red so if i go with red it's going to add a red color to it so let's run it again now this is red but i can also make it bolder or make it dimmer or any other color so if i go with bold and i go save it and let's run it again when i run it again now this is quite bold right so that is one interesting st stuff you can do with rich console the other stuff you can also do that you can also run it in the next method which is going to be console dot print then this is going to be the span format so the span format is going to be like this so let's say i have hello jesse and i want to sh only print out the jesse in the colored format right without the rest then i can use the span format so the span format is going to be something like this so let's go with let's say cyan right i want to give only the jesse as a cyan color so i'll just go with backslash cyan just like in case you're working with span right or with css so if i save it and i run it again now it's going to print hello jesse so the jesse is in a different color i can also make it bold I can also make it bold and then if i make it bold i have to close it here as bold right it's just like a mirror image or just like in case you're working with html and then let's run it again perfect so this is bolded right very very interesting so with this option you can do a lot of stuff there's also another stuff you can also do using the print so you can just come back to this place then from rich import print so this print is still different it allows you to be able to output stuff so the same we have done it here you can use the print format to print it out so let's come back to print here's not a python print but it is the print coming from rich right so i can just go with this same thing i did here And then it's going to render it perfectly for us so if I, let's run it again let's make it a different color so this is cyan let's make it let's say magenta magenta let's save it and then let's run it again so if i run it now you see that we have hello jesse and then we have the hello jesse in the magenta format so that's not the only thing you can also underline them in case i want to underline i can also use that so let's try and underline this one by going with the normal underline just as in case you're doing with css you 
then backslash u right so it's going to underline hello for us so if i run it so this has been underlined right? so that's how to add underlining to it it's very very interesting so with the print you can do either this format with the style right the style format or with the span format this particular format but with this particular print you can only do this particular format right Perfect. that is how to work with this now let's move on to how to work with markdown so before we move on to work with markdown let's add some other stuff about emojis so in case i want to work with emojis i can just go with the same thing so console dot print then i can just pass in a simple emoji like like hat so i go with hat it's going to bring it out perfectly for us so hat then let's run it again it's going to print it for us very interesting and also make it smiley so let's make this one like i hat coding then i'll put in the smiley smiley emoji then if i run it again it's going to render i hat coding smiley very very interesting so with rich you can do a lot of things now let's see how to work with the markdown so to work with markdown you have to import it from the top it's going to be from rich dot markdown import markdown class right then we use the markdown class to work with it but first of all let's try and render this our readme file inside our terminal so i just come back to with open then i open that readme file readme.md as m right you can make it as, as md then from here i can just create a markdown variable then i'll use a markdown class around my open file md dot dot read that's all then in case i want to render this markdown i just come back to the with the console dot print then i'll print out my markdown small later so if i save it and i come back here and i run it again that's going to render this our markdown from very interesting right together with all the formatting and everything so you can see that this has been rendered well we have our rich the points then the style and the features and everything very very interesting and very cool right perfect that is how to work with markdown now let's move on to the next option of working with a synthesis right so you can see that from here it was bash and it's able to render it as bash so in case you also want to render a particular python code or any code you can just use a synthesis format so let's come to the top of our file then from rich dot synthesis import the synthesis class then you can use the synthesis class to be able to render out our synthesis so let's create a simple function so let's call it def then let's call this function as let's say hello which takes a name and then it prints out some value to so return hello then the person's name dot format right so that is going to be the code i want to render inside my terminal so how do i do that so i can just put this one inside a doc string so my code inside a variable with a doc string so my code is going to be the triple dot this particular option then i'll paste in this function here right which is a python function so i come back here now it is inside this particular format so in case i want to render it inside my terminal i just come back to this place and go with my console or let's create a sentence first then i'll pass in my sentence class and i'll pass in my code so if i go with this i have to specify the language by going with python then if i print it in case i want to print it, i can just come back again to the console dot print then since so if i save it now and i come back and i run it again it's going to print that out code for us very very interesting right with all the colors by default in case i want to specify a particular team right i can just go with the team then i'll specify the team as mono kai right so mono kai is a very nice team so if i run it it's going to bring that mono kai team as black right it's very interesting so you can see that this is the default team white and this is going to be the mono kai team that is some interesting stuff you can also specify the number of the line so we have one and two so in case you want to shoot the line for the code you can just come back to this place and go with lines line numbers you set that one to true so i save it and i run it again you can see that now we have our code let's come back again and run it at the top we have our code one and two very interesting just as you can count from here one and two that is something very cool in case you are working with sentences finally let's see how to work with tables to work with tables just going to import tables 
So it's going to be from table from rich the table import table right then you also need input column in case you're working with column perfect then i'll just create a simple table class so let's go to this table then i'll initialize the table then i'll pass in some variables so show header it's going to be set to true to show the header then you can also give the header style so header style which is going to be in a particular style that you want to be so i want it to be let's say i want it to be bold cyan right or can be bold magenta anyhow you want it to be then i want to add my or create my column so it's going to be table dot add column then i pass in the column name so the first variable is going to be the column name so let's call it as title then the next one is going to be the width and a style so this is going to be our style then the style can be dim or can be bright or can be bold then you can also specify the width so, so this is going to be the width then let's give it a width of 12 that is all so in case i also want to add another column I can just copy this one here then let's add that column here so let's call this one as title and let's call this one as author right so we are just giving something very simple you can add justification to it can justify it and all of these things perfect so how do you add data to it so to add your data just come back to table dot add row then inside your row you add your data so the data is going to be let's say python handbook then i'll just specify the other one which is going to be for the author let's say west make it right so if i save it and then in case i want to render this particular stuff i can just come back to this place and then use the console dot print to render my table perfect so that is the basic idea so i just created a table variable then i added my columns then i added my data inside my row so if i come back here let's see this one and i run it again you can see that our table is going to come perfectly very very interesting with the color and then with the details so that is how to work with rich test so the most important thing just imports console to be able to allow it to do a lot of things markdown to work with markdown centers to work with centers table and columns to work with columns so thank you for watching and please take the link below for some interesting materials some interesting courses to help you ma master python and then several other stuff thank you and see you in the next session stay blessed